Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Real quick, if my lips look gross, it's because they are. Um, hopefully my camera's not picking it up, but if it is, I'm sorry. My lips are chapped and gross, and I've exfoliated them, I've moisturized them, but they're just mean bitches. So, whatever. Um, but anyway, so this is going to be my one year update on my rope piercing. Now, in my latest update on my conch piercing, which was a one year update as well, um, you guys could see in that video was my rope piercing was irritated and stuff like that, which I will show you guys a close up of what it's looking like now um, in a little bit. But anyway, so you guys could see it was irritated and all that stuff. So I asked you guys if you wanted an update on it, and you guys said yes. So here we are. Now, let me just say real quick this is actually not a one year update on it. Um, I've only had it for 10 months, a little over 10 months now. Um, and I got it pierced October 17th, so it's obviously not a year yet. <laughs> um, but I don't see a point in filming this video to film that one, and I don't feel like waiting to film it for like, you know, whatever. So I'm just gonna say this is one year update, I'm just gonna round up. So anyway, um, alright, so let's just talk about why it was irritated in that video. I think a lot of it being irritated had to do with how I was sleeping. Um, I've said this a lot in my videos before, I'm like a rotisserie chicken when I'm sleeping, I just like roll and roll and roll like all different directions, and it, I, I, I just, I can't help it, like obviously I'm asleep, but I think I just don't, like I have trouble getting comfortable, so I just move around a lot, but I guess this one particular night I was comfortable as fuck in the position I was sleeping in because I was sleeping on this ear, and I was like laying there for hours and hours and hours, which is very rare for me, but I guess I was just actually like really comfortable. Um, so I think my pillow was hitting the rope piercing in just like the correct way to make it irritated and gross as fuck. Um, so I think that's what caused it. Um, but it's doing good now. Um, I went into my old piercing shop that I used to go to because I had a gift certificate. For those of you who don't know, I no longer go to that shop because my piercer is no longer there. He's in the process of opening up his own shop. So I'm just waiting for him to get it open and all that kind of stuff. So I can get more piercings so I'm definitely not done getting piercings but anyway so I went in there because I had a good certificate and I was looking at shorter bars for my rogue piercing the one I have in it's not um very long like I've seen some people they have like very long like curved bars in theirs and you don't really need a super long one um, obviously you don't need it like crazy tight but you can get one that's a little snug once it heals kind of past a certain point so that's why I went in there and I was looking for that I was talking to the guy, asking him like which size he thinks would suit it better, and he noticed how irritated it was, and was asking me about it and stuff, and he recommended I pick up some emu oil. So this is what I got at my, well, my old shop. Just looks like that. And let me just say, this was such a fucking rip off. Now, I'm, this is my first time ever like using emu oil. Um, emo, did I just say emo? Wow. Emu oil. Duh. Um, so I really don't know prices, like typical prices for it, but I just can't help but feel like this is a real ripoff at that shop. Um, this little thing cost me like $4 with taxes. Like, when this, like, it's not even an ounce, I don't fucking think. Whatever. Um, yeah. So they had a bigger bottle. And when I say bigger, it was probably like maybe that much bigger, not very big. And that was $9. So I just opted for get, to get the little bottle. Just to, And plus I wanted to see how it would work and just make sure my body would react to it well. So um, the instructions for this, and like I said, my first time dealing with this kind of stuff with this oil. So I don't know if these instructions are typical for most um, brands of this oil out there. I don't know. But um, I'm supposed to put it on three to five times a day with a q-tip and I have to massage the oil in there for 30 seconds with the q-tip. So that's what I've been doing but lately I've kind of been slacking because like who has the time for that? Um, but yeah and so I've been doing that and that's definitely helped and let me just say it's good, still getting crusty um, so hopefully it's not crusty when I show you guys because I know that can be kind of gross. So let me just start talking and give you guys a close-up of what it's looking like now. Now, hopefully, you guys can see that um, it is a little crusty right now. It does have a very small bump on it, but that is going down. Um, and it is, you guys can see my ear is red, but it's not red because of the rope piercing. It's red because like, I'm like sweating and hot. 
Um, but yeah. But I really don't have too much um, else to say about how the piercing is doing now. Um, it is a little tender to the touch, um, but I don't think it's migrated or anything like that. It looks like it's in the same spot that it always has been. Um, so I really don't have too much to say. But let me just say, if you are interested in getting this piercing, please just be patient and know that it can take a while to heal because it is cartilage and cartilage doesn't have a lot of blood flow, therefore healing can be a lot slower with it. So you just really need to be patient. Um, and I would say, typically, for most people, cartilage does take longer to heal. Um, so a lot of piercers say, yeah, it's 6 to 12 months for right primary healing. Um, but really, it's more like 12 months to 18 months for full healing. I definitely think mine is going to be on that spectrum, um, the 12 to 18 months, <laughs> just because I know my body and I know... Well, and obviously I can just tell how it's healing now. I definitely think it's going to heal slower, um, but I'm you just got to be patient. That's what I'm going to do. I absolutely love it, and I'm just going to stick with it. And, you know, if something does change and um, I feel like you guys need to know what's going on with it, I will definitely do an update, but this will probably be the last one you guys will see. Um, you know, I might do a two-year update on it. Just kind of depending just to let you guys know but obviously that will be a very long time for you to see that video but yeah that is it um if you guys do have any questions feel free to leave them down below and i will get back to you guys um if you want to follow me on any of my social media check in the description box if you want to check out any of my other piercing videos check the description box because i do have a playlist that has all those videos in it and that is it thank you guys so much for watching my video and hopefully you'll check out my next one